Uh, good afternoon. Uh, let me, as I do every uh, press conference, start by extending my sympathy to the loved ones of the six patients that have sadly lost their lives since yesterday. These are truly really heartbreaking times and our thoughts are with you all. I don't think there's anyone out there that isn't touched by the pain and the sadness of these dark times that we're living through. It's just so heartening really, really heartening to see so many people come forward to offer what support they can in the time of crisis. I think it speaks to the generosity of spirit and of the compassion of our people. We have people from every walk of life who are coming forward, putting their hands up and saying, count me in, what can I do? The COVID-19 Health and Social Care Workforce Appeal is actively recruiting people to boost the health and social care workforce. And I'm delighted to say that more than 10,000 people, both clinical and non-clinical, have now registered to play their part. The Communities Minister is also leading a large-scale community volunteering operation to provide support to older people and to vulnerable citizens. We are working day and night to do everything we can to bring forward measures to support and protect people. Today's budget from the Finance Minister prioritises the response to this emergency. £370 million to help 30,000 businesses to pay their workers. An extra £400 million for the health service. This is all about saving lives and protecting people's livelihoods as best that we can. And we will continue to press for all the funding and resource that is needed to tackle this crisis, to protect the vulnerable, to protect our healthcare workers and protect all of our staff. Today, myself and Arling and the Health Minister had a very uh, successful and important meeting with the Tanisja, the Health Minister Simon Harris, as well as the British Secretary of State to discuss our response to COVID-19. We agreed that we have to do everything possible to ensure a coordinated approach to tackle this public health emergency on this island. We agreed to work closely together and the CMOs will sign a memorandum of understanding in the coming days to look, for, to look towards formalising and coordinating our approach. We all know that this pandemic takes no notice of borders and it makes sense that we have a joined up effort to save as many lives as possible across this island. This is all about saving lives. We live on an island um, and it's important that we collaborate and cooperate as much as we possibly can as we go through what is a public health uh, emergency. I have a duty and responsibility as a political leader to call out where I think there is a difference of approach on issues. I think we should be doing more testing. I think we should get to that point a lot quicker. I think we don't have enough PPE and we need to be doing a lot more in terms of attracting PPE. I have an obligation to keep calling that out. So that's not about undermining anybody. That's about doing what I believe is right. Um, I am here with a mandate to make sure that I make my voice heard. I'll continue to do that and I'll continue to work with executive colleagues to make sure that we get to the point where, where we know that we need to be. I subscribe to the World Health Organization's approach. I subscribe to the European um, evidence. That's the approach which I believe that we should be following. And their evidence clearly says that we should be doing more testing, that we should be um, isolating and tracing. I want us to get to that point, and I'm going to continue to work with executive colleagues to make sure that we get to that point, because this is ultimately about saving lives. And there's no point in waiting until after the fact and saying I should have done more. You have to make your voice heard at this time. That does not undermine efforts to tackle what is a public health emergency. We as an executive are going to work together to make sure we do everything we can to save lives because that's the priority.